Get ready for Eric Clapton live in Bangkok. The King of Guitar on Sunday, March 2nd at the Impact Arena. 20 years of hit after hit, 6 Grammys and 19 million albums sold. Book now at tieticketmajor.com. Presented by BEC Tarot and locally sponsored by Class Act Media. Welcome to Phuket News TV and today we're off sailing with Simon James, the race director of the Bay Regatta. How you doing Simon? I'm having a great time in Phuket at the moment, thanks. <laughs> now I'm glad we're colour coded as well, we sort of look like we, we, we got dressed with the same colours in mind. Well I think so, you know, and this is the first time we've actually had a regatta where the t-shirts have all, all arrived on time. So uh, <laughs> Is it usually the, the last minute dash, like where are the t-shirts? Everything's always the last minute, you know, sometimes people forget to enter until the last minute, so you're running around making making sure that things go together, but uh, no, we're ready to go. So with the Bay Regatta, now this is happening in Phuket from the 12th to the 16th of February, um, where does it all kick off? Well, it's a unique regatta. In fact, it, it covers Phuket, Pangna and Krabi, so it's the only event that travels around the three provinces. Uh, it kicks off at the Chandava Resort um, up at Aupor, so there's registration, opening party there. We then uh, head up into the Bay of Pangna and uh, have a party and presentations over at the Paradise Resort on Koh Yao Noi. You guys love your parties, don't you? you well, it's, it's known as the regatta that has more parties than sailing, I think. Um, but basically, we race to a different destination every day. Then we have a presentation party and uh, follow on round. So from Koh Yao Noi, we go down to Krabi. Have another party. Well, actually, we have a free night in Krabi <laughs> because it's uh, Valentine's Day this year and oh. a few people have said they want to go out with their other halves. So right. uh, we have a night off in Krabi, so free night in Krabi to enjoy the entertainment there. So literally, there are plenty of fish in the sea. Plenty. And then we uh, head down further south, down to Pipi. It's the first time we've had a regatta going to Tonsai Bay and Pipi now for, I think, seven years. Wow. And then, uh, then we have a sprint back from Pipi right across the bay, straight back to Aushalong. Finish off in Aushalong with a last night presentation party at the O2 Club. So Simon, how did the Bay Regatta all kick off? This is a 17th Bay Regatta. Well, as I understand it, I've only been here in Phuket about 18 years, but um, I believe it started off as a cruising company for Aushalong Yacht Club. And then uh, in around 1997, a group got together and put it on a formal basis, originally called the Pangna Bay Regatta. It was formed by a group of people including John Everingham, who's quite a well-known photographer here, um, Andy Stevens, who used to be at Yacht Haven, Andy Dowden, a number of other key sailing luminaries. Yeah. <laughs> and um, slowly it's grown and it started off with about 12 boats the first year. And now we're averaging between 30 and 50 boats for the last 17 years. So it's probably one of the biggest regattas in Asia. So how did you get involved personally? Um, well, I came across here in uh, 1995 to work for Sunsail, so one of the yacht charter companies. Um, we were part of the original setup of the Bay Regatta, and so we made boats available for charter, basically. Um, in my sailing career, I've been involved heavily with uh, race management and organisation of regattas. So it's a natural thing to get involved. So whenever I haven't been busy working, I've always assisted with the Bay Regatta. Wow. So what's the difference between Bay Regatta, the Cape Penoir race, and also the King's Cup? What, what makes it different? Well, we all, I think, have a good number of parties every night, but uh, one of the key things here is we do move around. Uh, it goes to a different venue every day, and we try to appeal to a different type of people as well. We have a lot more people who live on their boats. The, I won't say less competitive people, because they're probably as competitive as the big expensive racing yeah. boats, but it's a different group of people taking part. People who maybe feel that they're alienated a little bit by the full-on racing events that we've become now. Right, so you, you get more of your, your people that aren't really up for competing, maybe for more of a party? Like how many nationalities do you get to the Bay Regatta? Uh, I think we've currently got about 15 nationalities entered altogether, but it, it's very hard to track because you tend to find there's a sort of event where people join together on boats. Where somebody will come along with their own boat, and then people from other boats will join in and race with them and then next year they'll go on the other person's boat so it's quite hard to track at the moment we've got teams coming from japan we've got i think seven russian teams who've chartered boats to come and take part in the event we've got teams up from australia from the uk germany netherlands so quite a selection of countries what kind of where do they stay like when they're, when they're here and when it all kicks off where is the the hotel that they mainly stay at or are they spread everywhere 
Well, they are spread everywhere, but uh, this is predominantly um, what we call a liverboard regatta, that people actually stay on their boats a lot of the time. They join up, they have parties on their boats before they come to our parties. Probably about 50% of the people stay in hotels as well, so they stay um, mainly at our host host party of venues. So uh, as we say, Koh Yao Noi, the Paradise. Um, Krabi, we don't have a host venue, but everybody spreads out all over the place. A lot will go to Valley Beach. Mm. Um, PP, we've got some great venues down there as well. So they stay in the hotels as well as on the boats. Now, you said before that you you explained to me you're kind of like a ref for the sailing sort of community. Is that How would you explain that? My job, <laughs> as I use the term loosely, <laughs> my mum now refers to it as a real job after 20 years of it, but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, generally, yeah, I'm in the equivalent of a football referee for sailing. Um, so I've, uh, I'm responsible to a body called ISAF, which is International Sailing Federation. Right. And I literally go around um, running events or officiating events for them. So last week I was in Indonesia running the International Kiteboard Championships. This week is my holiday. I'm here for Pangna Bay Regatta. And then the following week I'm over in Boracay running the Kiteboard Championships in the Philippines. So um, we're quite busy. And that's all culminating this year in the Asian Games, which is in Korea in September, wow. uh, which is the second biggest event to the Olympics. And by getting involved in all these local events, it means we can improve the level of sailing, make sure everybody follows the rules, but also <laughs> give the locals experience at the higher level. Uh, we're now prov providing in Thailand probably some of the best young junior sailors and they come out on these larger boats as well and get experience of competitive racing on larger boats. Simon, are you allowed to red card anyone? Like, <laughs> you know, the, how they send people off on the football field. Can you red card? Can you say, hey, you're sailing wrong? Um, well, we do do that. We have a, we have a penalty. <laughs> really? we I was have, joking. <laughs> we have equivalent of a yellow card, which means they've got to take a penalty when they're on the water. Wow. Um, if they're particularly naughty, we could, uh, what we do, we're not allowed to give them a red card straight away, but yeah. we can disqualify them afterwards. So they have to come into the court and we make a judgment. And if they're really, really naughty, then we can ban them like anything else. So. Well, luckily, we're not in South America, so that's good. Well, I think uh, what we do here is we actually have a beer fine. So if anybody wants to protest <laughs> or complain to everybody else, they've got to give the jury a donation of a tray of beer before they're allowed to put it forward. So Bay Regatta from the 12th till the 16th of February and party, party, party. It sounds like good fun. Thank you for coming in and speaking to us here at the Phuket News TV and I hope you have some fun as well, even if you are riffing. <laughs> no problem. Thank you very much. If you want any more information on the Bay Regatta, this is from the 12th to the 16th of February. All you've got to do is head to bayregatta.com.